Holy is the Lamb. Yeah. Matthew 121 says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Holy is the and Matthew 123 says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Many years later, as this little boy named Jesus had grew, he was fulfilling prophecies. He was healing the sick. He was making the blind to see and the lame to walk. He was building up disciples for the upcoming days. He would no longer be with them on earth. And that day would come. As the guards took him away, he was condemned to die. But for what? What, what, he, what he had done? He did no wrong. Unlike us. But still, they laid him up Golgotha were being interpreted the place of the skull. They beat him. They spat upon him. They placed a crown of thorns on his head and mocked him, hanged upon a tree to die. Our Savior died for you and me. Jesus. It all started the life of this perfect man on that Christmas, that first Christmas. Once he had died, they concealed him in a tomb where he would rest forevermore. But what they didn't know was this story wasn't over. It was just unfolding. Jesus had risen from the grave death was defeated the story wasn't over and the story isn't over this story lives on the story is playing out God has sent a gift a gift to save us all from hell the greatest gift of all but many of us reject him every day a choice is being made whether you know it or not either you're living for self in the world or you're living for the Almighty God the Savior. Prince of Peace there's two ways to go hell's way or God's way every day there's a war going on and the devil's been trying to deceive you like nothing has happened since day one. But let me tell you, there is things happening. And this true event that happened that people call a folk tale, a fairy tale, a myth, a story is being played out now. And one day God will step out on those clouds and bring his children home. A glorious day, but alas, there'll be those who thought it was a myth, an old wise tale that will be left behind. Don't be left behind. What will your story be? How will it end? And how do you even know? Because you need to know before it's too late. Let me tell you, you need to know. You need to make that choice. Because God sent a son on that Christmas morn. And he sent a son to came and died for us all. Make that choice.